Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Trailmakers, and uh, today we're going to be playing with multi-stage rockets. Now, multi-stage rockets are a pretty popular request in games like this, and from what I've seen, it's usually a two-stage rocket or a three-stage rocket, but I figured, why stop there? How many stages can we actually make? Now, there are probably a lot of answers to this question, like four, seven... 10, 17, those are all examples of answers. Now, theoretically, each thruster could be just its own stage and we could just have like a hundred stage rocket, but we'd also have to program a hundred individual detachments and that would be very, very difficult. But you know what? Let's just go as far as the game will let me go until things start not working the way that they're supposed to, which, never mind, that's a terrible stopping point. Things always end up not working like they're supposed to in my videos. All right, so we're definitely going to use the spaceship cockpit. All right, so we got our final stage here. So let's give it a quick test, shall we? And go! Well, would you look at that? It works beautifully. <laughs> it actually doesn't look too bad either. This is going really, really fast, too, given the very few amount of thrusters it has. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and head back down to the ground. And now we've got to add our other stages to this thing, which means we're going to have to make sure that they can detach. All right, so for the second to last stage, um, I'm thinking like that that many thrusters. I do want it to at least kind of look like stages that are falling off, not just like single individual thrusters that are kind of pointless and meaningless. I want it to look epic as it's going through the stages, not just shedding little thrusters. All right, here we go. We've got two stages now. Let's see if they work well. And take off. It's getting loud. So after 10 seconds, it should automatically detach. 10 seconds is actually kind of a long time, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Oh, look, that looked pretty legit, didn't it? Oh, and <laughs> it's a lot less stable now, isn't it? You know what? That's fine. We'll just we'll just turn that off and get back down on the ground, and we're just gonna keep going. Okay, here we go. We now have a more typical three-stage looking rocket. So let's give it a try. It should be five seconds for the first stage, ten seconds for the second stage. Let's see how it goes. Oh boy, this is getting so much faster now. All right, there's one stage down. There's two stages down. I like how that one falls off so slowly because it's kind of drafting my final... I, I, is this is this considered a stage or are the stages only the things that actually fall off? I don't know. Well, I guess since it has thrusters on it, it is actually a final stage. Believe it or not, I'm not actually a rocket scientist, so I'm just making things up as I go along. All right, the tough part is every single time I make a new stage, I have to increase the time of the other stages to make room for the new first stage but it looks like at our current stage <laughs> i didn't i meant like the current stage of building not stage rockets uh we're at 252 power cores and if my calculator is correct here that means we're at 84 thrusters all right let's try this out we now officially have a four stage rocket oh no it's too heavy it's literally it's too heavy for its own good I can't spawn it in. <laughs> Why? I can't spawn it in without it destroying itself. Okay, apparently, if you're gonna have a four-stage rocket that weighs 2,600 kilograms, you need to give it some supports, I guess? Here, can I just, like, put these down on the ends? <laughs> no. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be this difficult this early on. Oh, why? What if I put shield blocks? Shield blocks might do it. All right, come on, shields. Do your job. Protect us from damage. I'm not impressed. Well, then, what if the shield blocks have suspension on them? Come on, suspension. Soften the fall. Oh, it works. All right, well, th those should be the first stage to fall off in this uh, iteration of this crazy rocket idea. So hopefully it won't affect our flight too much. Here we go, and blast off. All right, so it should be five seconds to the first stage. There we go. Eight seconds to the next stage, and then 11 seconds to the final stage. There we go, look at that. This is awesome. 
We're getting progress. All right, so apparently we are gonna have to use suspension in the future on this thing. Hopefully it doesn't get too heavy to the point where even that doesn't work. All right. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, cushioning on it. This is not gonna be good. <laughs> now we have, I actually forget how many I've, I think I've added three more stages. I literally forget how many stages I've added. So we're gonna have to count them as we go. But first I need to make sure this thing can stand up, which means we gotta do the whole suspension shield plate thing. All right, are the suspension shields going to be enough? Oh boy, uh, it's wobbly, which stands to reason it's only gonna get wobbly the bigger we make it. All right, are you ready? Let's count the stages together, see how many stages of a rocket we have. Oh no, it's not gonna go straight at all. Oh boy. Um, they should have detached, right, one? Wait, no, that was, wait, what? Okay, two, I don't know what's happening. Oh no. Things didn't go as planned. Things did not go as planned at all. Oh no, we're, we're flopping around in space. Okay, let's go back. I need to do some inspection. I think my first two stages went off at the same time. No, they shouldn't have. I have five seconds and eight seconds, and then 11 seconds. There's no reason why that should have happened. All right, well, let's try it again and count the stages. Hopefully they're actually gonna fall off one at a time now. Oh, uh, I don't like the wobbling. Oh, I, I didn't mean to activate it so soon. Here we go. All right, one stage. One stage just fell off. Two stages, they're falling off so quickly. Three stages. Four stages, they just disappear. Five stages, they're gone. <laughs> and then the last stage actually looks kind of legit. <laughs> All right, so we have a six stage rocket now, but I, I wish that they fell off a little bit more like gradually rather than just instantly disappearing. Uh, let me watch from this angle. All right, well that one was okay. Yeah, oh yeah, the, it's just, we're just bugging out the game. That's what's happening. Oh, those ones are okay. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> that water offered no resistance. What? What is happening? What? Are, where are we? Okay. Uh, I think we found opposite space. This is like the upside down space. Oh, it automatically reset. I didn't even press the button there. That automatically did that for me. Okay, so six stages. Can I turn this into a 10 stage rocket? Six stages is already more bendy and a little bit more buggy than I thought it was going to be so soon. So I'm gonna shoot for 10 stages is going to be like the, I've accomplished something actually, but it might be really tough to get there. So I'll see what I can do. And I've done the math. If I give myself five seconds to take off and then each stage is three seconds uh, in between detaching, then that's gonna give us a 32 second flight time to the final stage. Wow, guys. Okay, so I just went to add a little wedge block and my structure is too complex. I'm literally about to attach the 10th stage. All right, so we're gonna have to make some modification. I'm gonna have to delete just like single ones out of here, I guess. I'm literally on the last stage right now and it's stopping me from building. I totally forgot about the block complex. Oh, I'm at 697 blocks. I didn't even realize it. All right, I'm probably going to have to, yeah, I'm gonna have to delete a couple more. I'm just gonna delete some out of the middle here. All right, let me make sure I set this to the right time. This is gonna be the first stage to detach. Whew, okay guys, um, I'm at 699 blocks. I literally have room for a single more block. Oh no, that means I can't add the suspension stilts on. Oh, it's gonna destroy itself when we spawn it in. I didn't think about that. Oh, we're gonna have to make some more sacrifices, I think. Yeah, this thing's gonna destroy itself completely once it welds in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> clearly we're reaching the limits here. 699. I need 
to sacrifice somewhere. Structure is too complex. Oh, the suspension counts as more than one complexity. Oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. I can't add another suspension onto this. All right, I removed a couple of thrusters. Does that allow me another suspension? It does. Does it allow me two suspension? It does not. Like, one suspension's equal to about four thrusters, it seems. All right, do I get another suspension now? I do. Do I get two more shield plates? One shield plate? No! I just need one shield plate! All right, I need to delete a single block. You know what? Um, These pieces are just aesthetic. We're gonna delete those. We don't need those pieces anymore. Aesthetic and aerodynamic, but I feel like with this thing, aerodynamics is the least of our worries. All right, please hold yourself up. I cannot add any more to you. Please, 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 please. Wait, no, maybe that was a fluke. Maybe if we repair it. <gasps> We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, it is leaning. All right, so now. We have 10 stages. All we have to do is go up in the air for 32 seconds without crashing back down to the ground. And we should see all 10 of them go. I really hope I programmed it correctly. Okay, there goes nothing in three, two, one, blast off. Um, I feel like one of the stages should have gone already. I feel like a bunch of the stages should have gone already. Did we break it? It's- look at it bend. Okay, well there goes a couple of stages all at once. Okay, there goes another stage. The first, like, four stages didn't do it right. Wait, what? This is not how it's supposed to be go- I'm confused now. All right, um, I'll, I wanna try that again. All right, I think we may be too laggy for the first like four stages to register. Like we lose all of our frames. Cause after five seconds, that bottom part is supposed to fall off. And I think I did program it like that. And then after the bottom part falls off, then those very outside ones are supposed to fall off. All right, there goes two of the bottom ones. What? All right, then the outside ones. I am very confused. I am, I am very confused. Um. Okay, the last five or so worked pretty well, but the first five uh, the game does not agree with. So let me go back into build mode. This is the first stage right here. You can see all of these detachable blocks are set to five seconds. Those were definitely not detaching at five seconds. And then we go up here. These ones should detach at eight seconds. These ones should detach at 11 seconds. And then, oh, oh, I see an issue. A later stage, I put the detachable blocks on an earlier stage that falls off. So that was my bad. Okay. A problem adjusted. Problem fixed? I don't know. Please stand up. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. All right. I don't know if this is going to fix our problems, but let's find out what happens. In three, two, one, blast off. All right. After five seconds, the bottom one should fall off. There really shouldn't have been anything interfering with that in the first place, but clearly it's not happening. Come on, fall off. Please fall off. Oh, no. This is... Oh, we're on a terrible trajectory now. <laughs> Oh, no. Um, the bottom ones should be gone by now. The bottom ones haven't even detached at all. Why haven't they detached? Now they're gone. Okay. Okay, I must have some attachment somewhere then that is keeping them from detaching. All right, so... I'll tell you what the programming is supposed to be doing, and I think it's just the game can't handle the amount of thrust that's happening, and it gets in the way of all the programming or something. It's just there's just too much for the game to handle. We're we're literally at like the limits here. Oh, guys, I figured out the issue. 
I actually figured out the issue. So it turns out some of the detachment blocks were set to toggle and some of them weren't. So the ones that, the ones that weren't set to toggle were not detaching. So if I just hold the space bar down, we should actually see all 10 stages detached. So let's see if we can actually get a successful 10 stage launch here. Come on, oh, we're already bending. One. Yeah, there's no way we're going to stay straight enough. Two. Three. Wait, that's not even... They're not even symmetrically releasing. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I don't even see what's attached there. Eight. No, seven or eight, nine, nine. Yep, and then the last one. Ten. There we go. We, get, we got through all of ten. All right, that was the, the most wildly unsuccessful venture into space I've ever seen. In fact, we, we got negative in altitude. Our venture into space got us below sea level. So um, I see this as an absolute win. All right, for those of you who wanted to see two stage rockets or three stage rockets or maybe even four and five, um, all the way up to 10, you guys got your wish. And clearly this is not gonna allow me to do more than 10. We've reached the block limits. We've reached the complexity limits. We've reached the lag limits and we've reached the glitchiness limits. So if you like that we broke the game again, uh, then definitely hit the like button and let me know what you wanna see in future trail Makers episodes. If you want to see more ridiculous stuff like this, then go ahead and check out this playlist on the end screen right here. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.